in this video, we're going to have the 2023 Best Reverb Awards coming up. I've been waiting to make this video for a long time, but every time I was about to make it, a new reverb plugin was coming out and I was postponing it. I've made a video in the past about my favorite vocal reverbs. If you haven't checked it out, I'm going to link it right here. And this list is still valid. But what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to give you my top reverb list for reverbs that I started using in 2022 or 2023. So up to this point and I'm still using and I think they're all exceptional. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give an award to each one of these reverbs that I'm going to show you here because there's a specific reason why I'm using these reverbs. So let's start with the list. I'm going to start with the first reverb, Cinematic Rooms by Liquid Sonics. And I had another reverb from Liquid Sonics in my previous list when it came to the vocal reverbs. And that was the Seventh Heaven, which in my opinion is still one of the best emulations, if not the best of the Bricasti uh, reverb. Now, the reason why I've always wanted to try Cinematic Rooms since it came out was because it was supposed to be the top reverb for orchestral music, for cinematic music obviously uh, for film music and I always wanted this kind of reverb where you can have a whole orchestra go through it and it sounds really natural it sounds really big now the funny thing with cinematic rooms is that it proved to be so much more than this but I'm going to show you a couple of examples so that you can hear how it sounds again this is not going to be a review for any one of these reverbs but if you're interested you know how it works let me know in the comments down below if I get enough comments I'm going to make a video review the first thing that cinematic rooms excel at is cinematic percussion let me show you I mean, you can hear how massive the sound becomes and of course this helps the cinematic percussion cut through with the busy mix where you have strings, brass, woodwinds, voices, you might have synths, you know, for hybrid arrangements. And this reverb excels at both the early reflections and the reverberation. It gives you so much flexibility, but when the reverb becomes a little bit too much, you can tame it with the dynamics and you have a reverb ducker and a reverb gate. Let me show you what a difference the reverb ducker makes. So you can hear how much it clears up the transients. So we get the tail of the reverb when we have the tail of the instrument as well. So you don't get this clutter sound. So if you want to have a little bit more definition, you can use the docker. Let's go all the way to early reflections and let me show you how they sound. Now let's try this cello here. And I also like to use it on drums as a room reverb. And here the early reflections really do their magic. Cinematic Rooms, I give them the award of the epic reverb. 
The next reverb in the list is, of course, Glow by Wave Alchemy. This reverb, I made a video about this, so if you're interested, you could check it out. But this reverb, when it came out, I was almost ready to buy the hardware unit for my 500 series for my rack. And in the end, this actually saved me quite a bit of cash. I'm still thinking about it, but to be honest with you, this is so good that I cannot justify it anymore. Now this reverb emulates the RMX 16 reverb and uh, you can do so many different things with it. I'm not gonna spend too much time because I've made a video, but let me show you how wide you can make this vocal with this reverb. By the way, if you get a copy of this reverb, I'm gonna have a link down below. You can also find the presets that I've created for this reverb. So this is the breath layer preset. Let's have a listen. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. This is my breath layer. Let's try the ghost in the vocal. La espada que guarda el caudal. Let's try the vocal embrace. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. And of course for drums, oh my gosh. So you can recreate all those iconic 80 snares all these beautiful sounds. So the Glow Reaver from Waves Alchemy receives the 80s Reverb Award. Now, before we move on to the next reverb, I want to say something. If you're here and you enjoy this kind of content, maybe you want to consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. It's free. You don't have to pay anything for this, but it really, really helps me produce more content like this and it really supports the channel. Hit the like button as well if you enjoy this and if you really like what I'm doing, you can support the channel by using the super thanks button right here. Now, if you want to see what I'm doing with my instruments, I also have my modern 80s drum kit and my Apollo expansion for patch up. So you might want to check out my instruments as well. And if you like what you see, let me know in the comments down below. Now, the next reverb in my list is the Reverb Spring 636 from Arturia. Arturia makes some really amazing plugins in general. I have to say I'm very surprised with the quality of the plugins that Arturia come out with. Now, this is a spring reverb and in my opinion because I have a real spring reverb this sounds really fantastic application guitars of course And I love the fact that you can change the tanks. I have a real spring reverb and it can only do one sound. So this reverb gets the spring reverb award, of course. The next reverb is from TC Electronic. And if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of TC Electronic reverbs. This is the non-link 2 from the System 6000, the exact same algorithm from the System 6000. And this reverb excels at non-linear reverbs.
I mean, I don't need to say anything more. This brings a smile to my face. This is the Non-Lin 2, and of course, it gets the Non-Linear Reverb Award. And you know what? I'm going to stick with the TC Electronic, and the next reverb that I want to give an award to is, again, from the System 6000, and this is the VSS4. This is probably one of the most versatile and detailed algorithmic reverbs. Let's listen to it on this vocal and I'm going to bring up the early reflections and the tail. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel Soy el agua que mata tu sed El castillo, la torre, yo soy La espada que guarda el caudal Tu el aire que respiro yo Y la luz de la luna en el mar, la garganta que ansió mojar. Que te... so these are just the early reflections. Now let's add the reverb tail. Y cuáles deseos me vas a dar? Oh, dices tú, mi tesoro, basta con mirarlo. So again, like I said, this is a very, very deep reverb. I could make a video that would last for 40 minutes explaining all the controls. This definitely gets the most versatile reverb I word. The next reverb is the crystalline, crystalline reverb from Baby Audio. Again, I've made a video about this reverb and uh, this reverb, in my opinion, is one of the most forward-thinking reverbs. It's great for modern music. It has many, many controls that allow you to shape the sound. It has a tempo sync decay, which I love. A tempo sync start and end point. Very cleverly designed. It has a freeze. It has a reverse. Let's listen. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel Soy el agua que mata tu sed El castillo, la torre, yo soy La espada que guarda el caudal Tu el aire que respiro yo A darker as well Y la luz de la luna en el mar La garganta que ansió mojar, que temo ahogar de amor. Freeze. Igual. And of course we have a gate. I've made a video, like I said, so I'm not gonna dwell too much on this, but Crystalline, Crystalline gets the most innovative reverb award. We have two more reverbs to go through and the next in my list is the LX480 from Relab Development. This of course emulates a Lexicon 480 and I wanted to talk about this reverb for a while but the problem was it wasn't VST free and I had some problems with it showing up correctly in Cubase but now this is solved and now I can see this in its full glory. Now if you like the Lexicon sound this reverb is for you. I love the Lexicon sound. Let's have a listen. Y la luz de la luna en el mar. La garganta que ansió mojar, que temo ahogar de amor. Y cuáles deseos me vas a dar, oh, dices tú. And you know, the Lexicon reverbs have a great ability to blend really, really well in a mix. They have their own sound, their own character. The thing with this reverb is that if you know how to use the 480 reverb, you'll be right at home because it has the same interface. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, the 480 reverb, the hardware unit, then you might need to you know, just go through the pages here and figure out where everything is. As far as I'm concerned, I know how to use a 480, so it kind of feels really natural to me, so I know where to look for all these things. But 
this reverb can do a lot. It can do kind of uh, pseudo delay effects and all these things. It can spread things in the panorama. So this, in my opinion, would get the lexicon award, but I would call this the fit in a mix reverb award. Now, the next reverb comes from IK Multimedia. I started using it a few months ago and I absolutely love this. Uh, this is the Fame Studio reverb from T-Rex. It's a beautiful vintage sounding reverb. I'm not gonna say much, I'm just gonna play. El castillo, la torre, yo soy La espada que guarda el caudal Tu el aire que respiro yo Y la luz de la luna en el mar La garganta que ansió mojar Que temo ahogar De amor Y cuáles deseos me vas a dar? Oh, dices tú, mi tesoro, basta con mirarlo, tuyo será. We have chambers, we have studio booths, we have uh, live rooms, we have plates, which is actually the setting that I use the most for this reverb. And in my opinion, it sounds amazing, it sounds really vintage. And the Fame Studio Reverb from IK Multimedia receives the best plate reverb award. So there you go, my friends. These were my reverb awards for 2022-2023. I'm going to have links for all the plugins down below. As I said, if you want to support the channel, hit the super thanks button or just leave a like or a comment, whatever you feel like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye!